I'm going to talk today about a proposal for the development of a UC San Diego Center for Emerging Infections. At UC San Diego, we are poised to be able to respond to pandemics and other public health crises. We can do so because of our sort of unique position along the U.S. border with Mexico and close to Los Angeles, which is one of the largest cities uh, in the U.S., and the fact that we ourselves are a large international city and we have the capabilities of being able to both detect and respond uh, to public health emergencies, such as is going on right now with COVID-19. One of the problems is we don't have great infrastructure for doing so. All the pieces are in place, but unfortunately those pieces aren't necessarily connected. So I'll give, give a little background about our response to COVID-19 uh, to sort of refresh your memory. So when the COVID-19 pandemic sort of first was recognized in California and particularly Southern California, we were not necessarily amongst those to be able to notice it. And part of the reason for that is that our clinical facilities weren't necessarily equipped to be able to diagnose COVID-19. Despite that, we were still amongst the first in the entire state uh, to be able to provide testing for COVID-19. We were able to accomplish this not through developing our own test, but through our partnerships with industry. Um, and to this point, through those partnerships, we've been able to perform about 35,000 COVID tests in three months. Uh, and just to provide a, a bit of context to that, that's greater than really any other institution serving the San Diego area. That includes public health labs, large reference laboratories such as Quest, LabCorp, and more than Scripps and Sharps institutions as well, which see a much larger number of, of patients uh, than we see. Uh, and because of that, we've taken on a leadership role in the San Diego area, where we've been able to provide testing to nursing home, first responders, life share for organ transplantations, other hospital systems, and we've even provided testing to all of our healthcare workers, uh, as well as uh, students at UC San Diego. One thing that, that this pandemic exposed really is our weaknesses. And our biggest weakness is probably that we're so reliant on industry for COVID-19 testing. And the reason for that sort of goes to the, the means by which we've been developing our laboratory. Our laboratory has become extraordinarily lean over the years. One of the reasons is that we've gotten rid of all of our highly complex equipment and have been moving to uh, greater technological innovations uh, where we can perform more tests with fewer people. Uh, the unfortunate problem with, is when, that when pandemics come about, um, those pandemics in order to develop testing actually require those older, more highly complex pieces of equipment. One of the other weaknesses that it exposes that uh, the Center for Advanced Laboratory Medicine, where the microbiology laboratory is housed, um, uh, has a large facility for research. And unfortunately, this facility has remained somewhat idle uh, over the years. So there's a critical need for us to establish or to piece together all of the research that can be done at UC San Diego with um, uh, our complex uh, diagnostic capabilities so that we can take sort of our rightful position uh, in the city of San Diego, as well as uh, the, the region of Southern California, so that we can lead the way for future uh, pandemics. Just an example of how we can take advantage of this is uh, just what we have related to COVID-19. So uh, in testing over 35,000 patients to this point, we've got over 900 positive specimens. We've got hundreds of blood and serum specimens uh, from positive patients, um, but we don't have that necessary infrastructure um, uh, at the Calm to be able to give these specimens to those who might be able to perform the research experiments uh, necessary uh, so that we can have new advancements uh, uh, towards this disease. So what we're proposing is really to 
sort of to put ourselves at the forefront of COVID research uh, is that we really need to be able to combine the infrastructure of the calm with the basic and translational research uh, that's going on in, on campus to be able to position us uh, to respond to COVID-19 as well as other future infections. And we view this as UCSD really putting its footprint on the world. Um, so I asked sort of the question, what can we do uh, to change the world? And first, we can be ready to respond to future pandemics. While we were caught a little flat-footed uh, for the current pandemic, uh, we now understand the things that we need to put in place so that we are sort of positioned to be a hub for Southern California to respond to pandemics in the future. We've been able to respond to pandemics such as Zika, influenza, and Ebola in the past, but probably in a much less coordinated manner uh, than we would like to be. And we view our position as the largest academic center uh, in the San Diego area um, is to really take on that leadership role. And I know that UCSD has in some ways been looked at as the little brother of institutions such as UCLA in the past. When this pandemic came about, we were much better prepared, for example, than UCLA was to respond to it, uh, such that people in LA were actually looking to UC San Diego to perform their testing because UCLA could not keep up. So we believe that uh, through the development of this Emerging Infectious Disease Center, we can sort of serve as an early warning system uh, not just for Southern California, but the entire nation um, as infectious diseases sort of start to spread. So what we're proposing is to start a center for emerging infections at UC San Diego that would be housed at the Calm facility. This center would be run mainly out of the clinical microbiology laboratory. This uh, laboratory has two directors, including myself, um, that are involved in basic research, clinical research, and translational research. And it's the perfect sort of place where we can bridge uh, between the research that goes on on main campus um, and the clinical diagnostics capability that takes place at the calm. We do understand, however, that there's not always going to be a pandemic so that the center needs to be able to do things um, outside of when we have a, a pandemic. So what we are proposing is that the center primarily would be used uh, to start a fellowship training program so that we can train future clinical microbiology laboratory directors. And while the trainees would devote a significant amount of time to their clinical training, these trainees would have the time to be able to also devote time to developing the facilities at Calm so that we can respond to the uh, research needs of the institutions. So these trainees would be involved in projects that would involve community disease uh, surveillance for infectious diseases, um, developing some of the technologies that we've been de developing uh, over at the Calm. And this would involve utilizing advanced techniques such as next generation sequencing that are present in some of our genomics core facilities. They would involve uh, uh, specialized techniques such as amp lamp amplification that are taking place in our diagnostic microbiology facilities. And it also involve utilizing some of the uh, methods for characterizing immune responses that are involved uh, in our flow laboratory. So what we need to be able to develop this center really is uh, we need uh, an investment in developing the fellowship program. We need to have protected time for the center's directors, and we need to be able to take advantage of the infrastructure that's already in place uh, over at Calm. And we need to further develop our infrastructure for being able to sample and test really across the greater San Diego and the greater Southern California region. And we would like to continue to cultivate many relationships that are already in place at UC San Diego, uh, really uh, uh, across the uh, uh, Mexican border um, so that uh, we can continue uh, our surveillance. Thank you.